Hello everyone, my name is Kichigo and welcome back to a new episode of Tales of Vesperia. So last time we just been running around, or in this case we upgraded um, the Sorcerer Shrine to level 4. We discovered like an inner volcano area that seems to be a location for, I don't know, an op optional boss perhaps. Um, we found three, well two other devil's arms i'm just gonna call them that because that's the name i know them by um we fought the we finally bit, was able to fight the chimera butterfly that was only level 50 and did we fight any other i think that's about it um other than the ever like stone that apparently wasn't supposed to give back to the the guy but whatever so in this one, we're going to continue, and I'm going to go to yet another one of those stone statues to see if I can upgrade the Sorcerer's Ring to the next level, if possible, um, before I try to go anywhere else. Um, so, I'm not sure if there's a particular one I have to go to, but I also have a feeling that the other cursed weapons are also in those locations or at least some of them are um oh hey there's a thing here oh, it's just a shell whatever um and of course when i'm not even looking for when i'm looking for them i don't know where they are Oh, I should probably stay away from here because we're supposed to meet Flynn and Hypionia, I think. So let's just uh, stay away. It does look like it should have something here, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, wait, no, that's the one that I went to. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, here's one. Okay, right, let's enter this one. Hi, we're back. I mean, like, not back, but... I guess no spear is gonna jump out of this one. Maybe you could use the sorcerer's ring to destroy it? Oh! Yeah, crumble like a cookie. Despite all your faults, old man, you've got good intuition. What do you mean, despite my faults? Let's go in and see what's there. Lead the way, you little patience. Yes, I will go in. Does this also have a volcano? Looks like it. We're here. Oh, let me take some drink some water. Okay. So this is an air grenade too. I guess there are more around the world than we thought. You think there are still more in other places? I think there might be. There are surely a lot of places on the planet that humans haven't laid eyes on. How does it look, Yuri? All I have to do is get close, right? <gasps> Aha! There we go! Let me see! The 
the geometries are already changed. And that means time for a test shot. Whoa. Wow, it powered up a lot. It got faster and moves farther now. Judging from the size of the sorcerer's ring, I think it's reached its limit. I think this is enough to do what we need to do. I have to say, I'm surprised at all of the different effects air can have. Well, you see, but I feel like all of those effects are simply different ways of air interacting with itself. Well, air's high affinity creates, and then the application of those effects on certain objects allow the technologies of Blasi and magic to be, de to be developed. Well, converted mana is... So air is divided into different attributes in the form of magic, and when it's used, it's, it releases energy and then turns into air again. So that's how air has helped sustain our day-to-day -day lives, eh? <sighs> I give up. No, your explanations are just too hard to explain, I mean, understand. But the civilizations we have, based on the air in Blastia, is about to come to an end. Well, we still have elemental spirits. Yeah, we still got some time until we gotta give it all up too. Until then, use it or lose it. Yeah, you're right. Well, we can at least be thankful that the Sorcerer's Ring is even more useful now. Sorcerer's Ring Level 5. A mysterious ring that can shoot air with increased power and range. Yeah, that's great. Woo, boy. Those monsters never catch up to me. I will hope not. So I'm thinking that I should be able to go back to um, the t that temple um, that had those cracked walls and then go back to um, where the wind spirit was, or in this case, Chroma, and get those rocks out of the way. And that will uh, help me to fight the next Giganto or, or at least see what level it's on. Oh, this one has one of those things too. So does it look the exact same? Well, I guess that would help, so that way you won't have to worry about remembering um, which one you went to that had... No, it looks different. Yeah, this one looks different. I think. Doesn't that look different? This looks easy. I guess I'll go easy on them. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, um... Actually, I need to take fire off. She learned uh, Holy Rain. Okay, so Estelle finally learned Holy Rain. Yep. So I wonder which one 
dad was so I can take it off of her skills. But she learned two already, and I only had two on, so I'm assuming that it's going to be these. Alright, so she has eight left. Combo plus. Damage increases when an attack hits an attacking enemy. So let's put that one. Mm. Maybe I'll do that one. Wait, she doesn't have defend. if it's even worth my time. Ooh, stun talisman. Prevent stun. I mean, but it definitely does look different from the last one. But I'm not sure if that means it's entirely... Wait a minute. Mystic Orb. No, I think it's the same. Okay, so it is the exact, exact the same. Okay. So yeah, it goes back to what I was saying before that um, I don't have to remember which one to go to. I can just go to any one of them whenever I'm ready. Granted, it seems like they have different things in here, but yeah, it looks like it's just the same exact thing. So, I'm not going to waste any more of my time or your time. I'm just going to go. And I don't think they would have any devil's arms in here anyway. 
So, I guess that means you're gonna go to... Um... Maybe I go back to... No, I don't, don't want to go back to Hippiana because that's where I need to go for the plot. So I guess I'll go... Um... Back to... The Grand Canyon. And see how tough that giganto monster is um and if i can face it to just go ahead and beat it right then and there or come back later um and actually how many did they uh devil's arms did they say there were where's my note from that day seven all right so we have three of them with there's four more Somewhere. Somewhere there's four more. Alright, so... Is this a good location for me to... Let's see... Yes, I can uh, have repeat mark here. How is it looking now? Well, I guess that makes sense. He has like a whole continent right now. I don't even have a whole continent. Alright, so... Let's see. So that was Oh hey, your resorts. Huh, I just realized that. That's where another one of the the Gigantos uh is, right? Yeah, the Griffin can be found in a certain field so maybe I can go ahead and look for that so let's go is that where we are yeah that is where we are all right so let's just explore here a bit and see if we can run into him and it said east north south east You scared the mess out of me, sir. Hold on. I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna see how tough you are. We're only seeing how tough you are. If you're too tough, we're leaving. Oh, level 59? Okay. Uh, let me make sure that all her stuff is on. Alright. Whoa! Help. Are you okay? Oh, that was a mess. Ah! Oh, you're ah! Excuse me. Go. 
Excuse me. The wind is... I don't like with the wind. Oh, gosh. He really likes... Um, let's see. Maybe I do need to change it to... But how many do I have that protects against stun? Fifty percent chance. Okay, so we have three of them, and then our, there sh we should have. Yeah, got stun talisman. That's all. Yeah, I'm gonna equip these because that is so annoying. Stun talisman. Stun talisman. And then 50% with the one that big text against uh, status effects. Yep. So that should help with that part. Ooh! is like oh hold on let me make sure that she is brought back too so she won't move miss out on any XP yeah we have to knock him out because he would just keep on going Dang it! Well, I'm definitely waiting until... Um, let's see. Let's do a lemon gel on Rita. I don't care about the items. It, we we gotta cook something. There we go. All right, so boss defeated. We took a lot of damage. Uh, let's see, and we also died a lot. All right, so we can cross that off our list, and we have one more. So let's see. What is our Let's see, where are we? 
Um, but he is coming up here anyway, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and use the bathroom. I mean, repeat. Repeat is going to use the bathroom. Now, this is supposed to do full heal, so I wonder how big the mark is. Let's see. Okay, so that did a little bit more, I guess. I guess. Um, so... Do I want to go ahead and report in? Or do I want to go ahead and fight the other thing? Because that was just, um... It was... What was it, actually? Okay. Yeah, that was level... Well, the Medusa Butterfly was level 45, and that was level 50. Poseidon... Griffin. Yeah, it, that's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of uh, Chroma. Like her fight, fighting stance. So he was level 59. So I wonder what the last one is going to be as far as level. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go back to Halor and report in. bad. I was trying to see if another uh, skill would play if we fell asleep but are already healed. Hmm. You mean to tell me you defeated a griffin? I must thank you. Please take this. Griffin feather. Feathers from griffin's wing. You can fly if you collect a lot of these. Are you sure? Have heard that ten of the giganto monsters have been slain. As far as we know, one still left. The bloody beak drills somewhere among the cliffs of Bukia. That is all. All right. Go ahead, drink some water. Okay. And that is going to be the dungeon, which is. Will be hollow. I always do that. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep it. Hey! Whoa, where'd you come from? I, I just feel at home here. It soothes me. Listen, when I fell off Zade, you were the one who saved me, weren't you? Duke couldn't have done it alone. Indeed. So, you were also at the sands of Kogor. Yuri thought he saw you there. In other words, you've conveniently saved my act twice now. You better thank her, then. No, he need not thank me. This is merely how things have played out. Unfortunately for you, people who get saved tend to be uh, be pretty grateful. There is also the matter of Duke ordering me to save you. Oh, she was ordered to. Why did you support Duke so heavily? What's in it for you? Maybe the better question is who she's into, hmm? Are you in love? I had not considered that I might be emotionally invested. So why then? To carry on father's legacy. Your father? Father accompanied Duke on a long <gasps> journey fighting by his side all the while. You mean the one that got killed? 
He was rarely moved, but Duke's journey gave him ineffable joy. They became close friends, and so I felt there was a debt to pay to be paid. Ah, so you are El Lucifer's daughter. Wow, a whole Antelakea family. It is incredibly rare, particularly since we Antelakea have evolved to be born of the air itself. Ah, no wonder y'all look so unique. I have not met another Antelakea with relatives apart from myself and my father, but I feel just as you do when it comes to family. I felt I had to help my father's closest friend. Did the knights also act on Duke's behalf? My guess is they they were just keeping tabs on Alexei. Then they've reported they report his movements back to Duke, right? Correct. But in the end, Duke chose the toughest path. There's still time. If we can defeat the other Fagos, there there'll be no need for Duke to fight. Aye, we can take him out of take him out of play. You mean? True. He would escape unscathed. Perhaps he will return to a life of peace and tranquility. Hmm? So what I'm hearing is, we need to get rid of those beasts in the sky. Yesterday. Heck yeah! I did imagine getting, uh, think I would be getting a cutscene with her. Hey, Sylphie! The way you talk about him, that's love, honey. I, while they, while that may be true, it is in the past. I am no longer Chroma. I am the spirit of the wind now, the gentle breeze at his back, and the whisper in the trees guiding him to safety. Mm, you don't say. Now I just have to remember, um, where I need to go, um, for the things that I missed. Alright, so this is our first one. Rest, sage, and medicinal herb. Herb increases max HP by 30. Okay, so this is the next place that we can do. this. Red chamomile, a medicinal herb, increases magic attack by three. It actually came the right way, so we can get rid of this. Red savior, savory, a medicinal herb, increases max TP by 30. Blastus. Mercurius. A sword made out of mercury, allowing it to be transformed into any shape its owner desires. Hmm. That's a weapon for a still. So let's see. Um, let's see. Hmm. Doesn't have anything on there though. Hmm. Well, it didn't say it's demonic, so it's not one of the devil's. Arms. Okay, so here's another one. So this must be where that thing is. Because if I remember correctly. Oh, well, we had this one.
so you can get this one red verbena a beneficial herb increases physical defense by three um let's see did this could this go all the way down okay so yeah it goes in so we still have to go the other way just to make sure But I have a feeling that this way is where the last thing is. Oh, great. just keeps going, doesn't it? Level up. Okay, keep a going. Oh wait, this is a long way. Red lavender, a medicinal herb, increases physical attack by three. Oh, great. This looks like fun. Level up. Okay. Nothing there. Alright, so let's head out. I guess that was pointless. Well, not pointless. Because I did get all the treasure chest. Um, but I have a feeling that it actually met. Alright, um... I have a feeling that it actually meant that um, the bloody beak is on this area, not in the actual dungeon. I mean, it wasn't a waste because I was able to get all the treasure chest. So I'm not considering a waste of time. It just means that a lot of it is going to be cut out.
but that also means that um, I'm going to be cutting a lot out of this episode. 1146, 1244, 1271. Um. So I'm guessing these are the heavy ones. So I think for him, I would need to, yeah, when I have a light bow equipped. Alright, so I'll cut to you when I'm, when I happen across the thing. But it's not like... Now we found Marsha. Okay. They don't seem really powerful to me. Maybe there's something we have to do to awaken them fully. We'd be getting a big boost to our own strength if we could manage that. Though it wouldn't be good to depend upon them too much. That's right. Just like an over reliance on Blastia led to severe repercussions. If we rely on the power of the Fell Arms, we might be repeating the same mistakes. Well, just don't use them then. We're just gathering them up to make sure the wrong type of people don't get them. We haven't been. Right. Uh, good to know that it that only took place. Maybe they're on this one? I was thinking that it would be on a larger part of the island or the continent. Hold on again. So what is this? This is... So when it's sunny, southeasternmost island in Makia. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. So southeastern, southeastern, so southeastern. Okay. So we're here, and it is sunny. So do they mean this one then? Hold on, let me top up. Uh, well, I can probably cook instead and do something that increases. Hmm. 
there that should completely heal us and then I'm gonna give some orange gels to her to top us off and then I'm also going to I probably could have rested actually yeah probably could have rested oh well, well it's not too late for me to rest but I think I'm gonna wait until after so let's save here man that took forever but this will be the last bit of this episode at least all right let's go Oop. and this will be the last uh Draganto. okay so let's see what level he's on oh level 65 uh we can't use fire or wind so let's see fire or wind take that off i think she only has one yeah it's this one um and she basically has all light moves all right oh hello ow Over limit. Oh, ow. Mr. Gart time. You think you are Diablos or something from Monster Hunter? Jeez. That almost scared me.
Oh my gosh. Okay, so Estelle needs a pineapple gel so she can continue healing. Over limit. Big Game Hunter. Actually, I want to see what that is. Big Game Hunter. Defeat all giganto monsters and prove nothing can stop you. Careful though. It's a big world. Okay. Thanks. Cook some cake. So it should be 20,000 gold. Oh, 21,000 gold. Boss defeated, fatal strike, we did take some damage. Uh, we attacked with a resistant attribute. Um, fatal strike, Mr. Gart, we did use one heal item. Alright. And we got level up. Well, just one level up. Okay. So. Oh, enjoying victory. With that. We've beaten all the world's giganto monsters! I was a little spooked at first, but we did it! We probably couldn't have done it if they gathered together like normal monsters. Maybe they were just really territorial. That could have helped us beat them. And we got a lot of valuable materials too, since they were a lot stronger than normal monsters. Yeah! It was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it! And defeating all of the giganto monsters will help Brave Vesperia's reputation as well. How? It's a few monsters in parts of the world people have only heard stories about. Yeah, these guys aren't the kind you run across unless you set out to. Well, what's wrong with just being happy about it? You don't seem too happy, Yuri. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, I feel a sense of accomplishment, but also kind of empty. Me too. Every time I beat a really tough enemy, I feel a little lonely inside. I'm pretty sure that's just the two of you. <laughs> these fighting addicts, I swear. Great. All right. So, I'm going to go back to Holor so we can um, report in and probably get um, a specific cutscene. Um, I'd rather use one of my tents. Hmm, you mean to tell me you defeated a bloody beak? I must thank you. Please, take this. Bloody's eye. Every eyeball of a bloody beak is as hard as a gem. It's not very common, so it's, it has no set value. You defeated all of the Giganto monsters. Yeah, we ended up beating them all, them all ourselves. Thank you. Man, I wish Flynn was a take part of this. <laughs> Thanks to you, wonderful people, we can finally go back to our hometown. That's true, but let's keep traveling for a while. Huh? 
Why? We can finally go home. You can see your father. I'm sure he'll acknowledge our marriage now. Huh? Do you just say marriage? Yes. But wait, aren't you two brother and sister? My father and Richard's father were both members of the Regan Expeditionary Force together. Because of that, the two of us have been friends since we were kids, and we've been as close as siblings. But you're not actually siblings. Richard's father is the only surviving member of the Expeditionary Force. For that reason, he said he would never acknowledge our marriage until we defeated all of the Giganto monsters. And I was planning on doing that too, to fulfill his highness's lo lifelong wish. But defeating a Giganto monster by yourself? That's insane. Yes, it's insane. Suicide probably. But that wasn't enough to make me stop. So you just got into the habit of wandering around. You should have told us all this sooner. You should have asked us for help. We could have gotten it taken care of faster. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go back. Let's go back to your father. Why not just keep things the way they are? We won't need to be tied down by all the formalities of marriage. Mm -hmm. We can just wander around forever. That wouldn't be so bad, would it? Would it? Forever together. Big brother. Oh. Mm -mm. What the? You mean, we be all those giganto monsters for nothing? No, that's not true. You've brought honor back to my father, and to his highness region, region as well. His highness's biggest hope was that people could live in peace without having to worry about being attacked by monsters. That's what, that's was why he traveled around the world. If you ever meet my father in your travels, Please tell him that all of the Giganto monsters have been defeated. My father should still live in Capriotorum. Sure, I can try to remember. Really? Thank you. If you're going to thank anyone, you should thank our monster hunting all-star right here. You mean m me? Such a large weapon for such a small person. Fantastic. And still just a boy. Truly fant fantastic. You've got potential. <laughs> thank you. It's just like a valiant, unfinished sword. That reminds me, I've got something for you. Please come with me to the carriage. <gasps> it's a new outfit! We got this from Cecilia. Cici yeah, I guess who stayed with us last time. He said this is for when I have kids, but I'm not even married yet. Do you really want us to have this? Yes, this will probably be too big for kids, even when I do have them one day. We must be some special guest to receive this. It's cute. It suits you. Yeah, very kitty. If you happen to see our carriage again, please stop by and say hi. We'll always have room for you to stay the night. Thank you. No, thank you. Kara earned the Valiant Swordsman title. So that's a new outfit then. So he has... Oh, they just automatically turned me into it. Okay. One who slays giant monsters one after another. How much stronger can you get? I don't remember who I... What? I do not know what outfit I was wearing. Was it that? No, it definitely wasn't that. It was this. Alright. So... Um, he said that his father lives in Copria Torum. So I'm gonna write that down for the next note for next time. So go back to Torum. But we are gonna call that it for today. So we got all the Dragon to Monsters. I'll probably see if I can figure out where some more of the fail arms are. But with that, let's head out so we can save. Cause this is this has been a pretty lengthy episode, which will be cut out so it'll be a lot shorter. But whatever. Um, so at that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.